How many of our viewers are foodies? You know, really enjoy a well-prepared, cooked, and presented meal. And I know some of you are going to say, any meal I don't have to fix is a great meal. Does that make me a foodie? Maybe. Well then, how many would consider themselves connoisseurs? You know, of the fruit of the vine? But did you know that wine can be made from berries as well? Say like blueberries, which just happen to grow quite well in the Sunshine State, Florida. While in the Orlando area, besides flying to Arizona and back, we tried out some slightly more touristy venues. One which caught our eye coming in was the Citrus Tower. In an area of low rolling hills filled with citrus trees and low-lying buildings, this structure really stood out. It turns out that this is one of Florida's first attractions built in 1956 in the town of Clearmont. It rises 226 feet or 22 stories above the area. In the lobby is a very nice coffee shop where you can pay a small amount to take a ride to the observation deck. We didn't stay long because we had to get back to camp and prepare for another travel day. This used to be the computer that rang chimes from the tower. We're going to work our way back to Three Flags. We found a jewel hidden back in the live oaks and Spanish moss. Stick around, there's more to come. Since we started RVing, it has been very entertaining to visit local wineries slash breweries wherever we stay. 
and have virtually always been pleasantly surprised. This is no exception. In fact, this will be part one of a two-part episode. Just wait till you see what we found. The name is Whispering Oaks Winery, and their product has won numerous awards. They grow, harvest, pick, ferment, bottle, and label the finished liquid. The science of wine and winemaking is known as enology. That's kind of an interesting mouthful when you look at the way it's spelled. And a winemaker is also called a Vintner. Our destination is appropriately named Whispering Oaks for all the beautiful massive live oaks on the property. We'll have their contact information in the show more section below the video. Man, these guys and gals do it all. And did we mention this is all done not with grapes, but blueberries. There is row upon row of blueberry bushes that are carefully attended to. Everything is done in-house on their sprawling property. They serve food, live entertainment, an assortment of award-winning drinks, ambiance, all from a gracious host flanked by a staff of smiling, kind, and attentive personnel. They can also handle most any kind of groups you can imagine, from corporate to clubs to weddings and special events, and their products are shipped all over the world. Like I said before, this place is a jewel. There is so much to see and do here that we're going to make this a two-part episode with the best yet to come. Thank you. 
Uh -huh. the voices, the music. So please stick around till next week when we get a little more in depth on this great place to congregate. Just rest assured that what you see and hear here is our own unsolicited, without remuneration, unbiased opinions. What we received was nothing more or less than any other paying patron of this establishment received. It's just all part of the experience. We'll see you again next week when we go more into depth about this eclectic find. Until then, please travel safe.